Hi guys, this is Jason Zak from Nathaniel School of Music. In this lesson, we are going to learn five Christmas songs and all of them in the blues or in the rock and roll style, depending on how you play it. So each of these songs are pretty much blues songs in the sense that they come from that genre, but they may be a bit more bordering towards jazz or pop or some other primary genres, but we are going to convert all of them into blues no matter what and I've chosen some songs which hopefully won't annoy you I'm not going to convert Silent Night or O oh Come Ollie Faithful into blues or rock and roll no we'll do songs which perhaps at least have the word rock in them for example rocking around the Christmas tree which might be a bit more uh, doable okay so I'm going to give you two patterns and let's learn those patterns first. We are going to do this all on the key of G major. G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G. And for most of blues and rock and roll in general, we just need to deal with three primary chords. That would be the tonic, namely G major. Then the dominant chord, namely C major in this case. And the dominant chord, namely D major. Okay, if you calculate, the tonic would be the 1, G. The predominant or the subdominant would be 4, which is C. The dominant chord will be 5, which is D. Okay, G, C, D, G, C, D. Fair enough. So you're going to play these chords, but not the traditional way we play them, like rocking around or Rudolph the Red Nose or, you know... We are not going to do those sort of patterns. We are going to do some very idiomatic blues rhythms. Okay. And I'm going to teach you two in this lesson. But to learn a lot more on the blues, there is a blues piano playlist we've attached in the description. Do check that out. That will help you learn blues from a very ground level, taking you all the way to some very interesting rhythms and very iconic rhythms which you'll never forget you 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 know that it's there you know that it's part of the blues culture and blues is a very inspiring genre i think without it we would not really have any contemporary genre today so it's good to learn blues if you haven't already so stick around and i hope that you can perform at least one or perhaps even all five of the songs that i'm going to teach you in this lesson so before we get started it'll be awesome if you could consider getting yourselves a copy of my notation it's available on our patreon page and you can also consider hitting that subscribe button and hit the bell icon for regular notifications let's get cracking first of all the two blues patterns so if you take the g major chord we don't play it as a block gbd instead we play the one five that's gd and then the one six that's one six that's g e so gd g e and there are two patterns around this one is quarter notes or crotchets one two three four usually aligned with your head movement or the pulse of the song as you move with the music the pulse follows so one five one six and keep it nice and choppy so we are going to play some very jumpy songs Get around the Christmas tree so just to get acquainted with the pattern, try to sing a few of the songs that we have presented for you in this lesson. So you can do maybe Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer or Rockin' Around the Christmas Tree or Jingle Bells, Jingle Bells. You know, I'll have a blue Christmas and so on and so forth. Right? We have or even go tell it on the mountain oh go tell it on the mountain so maybe the first line of each of these songs you could sing and keep this pattern pumping so this is pattern number one and what's going on g major chord is still in the chord chart of our song we are not playing it as like that we are not playing it as a full chord but instead of that we are playing this very iconic blues phrase which is great for the bass register one five one six one five creates a lot of movement and a lot of harmonic color okay now if you ever have to go to c which you'll have to do as well because it's all blues g c and d are going to be the primary chords move your left hand either down to 
C, but generally I would prefer to go up to C because it's a bit higher in this case and sounds a bit less muddier. So that would be C G C A. That's your one five one six of C major, right? Then you come back to maybe G one five one six. Then you do one five one six of the dominant chord, which is D D A D B. If I just twelve bar this, if I do this over the traditional twelve bar blues progression, let's see how that works. The one chord, the one, the one, the one, and then the four chord, which is the C, and back to one. Ba 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 one, ba 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 da da five, a four, and one. This is the structure. Arguably the most influential, popular chord progression of all time, the twelve-bar blues. So you can modify this slightly by doubling. You can perhaps play every hit twice. You can establish those eighth notes now. So to do this, one and two. And a good technique for your wrist and your your arm in general would be try to move your arm forward and backward as you're playing, and also try to bounce your wrist. This way, you're kind of distributing the energy to the entire arm. Your arm, your hand won't feel the strain only in the wrist or only in the fingers or only in the forearm. And if it starts hurting in the fingers and the forearm, the pain becomes quite excruciating. You'll have to stop playing for. At least half an hour, you know. You don't want that. So a good way is just push your push the piano as you play. Push in and out, so and bounce your wrist, especially when you're doubling, and you automatically get a lot more dynamics. You're getting natural human dynamics, which can't really write down on paper. So there's a little bit of staccato, and it's almost like you're jumping on a trampoline, you know. So that's the feeling you need when you're playing this pattern. So go tell it on the mountain, rocking around the Chris. So you can either choose to do the the usual bouncy quarter note pulse, or double that. This is used for almost all the popular blues songs. So that is pattern number one in the left hand. Then it's just going to be about the melody, which is notated for you. So do see the melody. You can watch me playing it, and we'll break down all these five songs. Now the next blues pattern is is inspired from the bass guitar or the uh, uh, the best bass line you can think of to start off at least with the blues would be. One three five six five one three five six five. Yes, we have modifications. All that is available on our blues playlist. So do check that out after this lesson. Dum pum 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 pum. So I like. I would like you to sing it actually. So pum 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 pa ba pum pum pa ba pum 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 pa re rum pum pum and then pum pum. That's the second pattern. And intervalically, one, three, major third, perfect fifth, major sixth. Pum 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 pa re rum 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 pum. Okay. So now that we have our two patterns in place, now that we have all our available chords, which is pretty much the one, four, five, let's start with the music. Let's let's bring in the first song, "Rocking Around the Christmas Tree." So I'll show you the melody in the right hand. You can play along, keep your keyboards along as you play around, and I'll just support it with maybe a G or the chord root. So. Do that again, and I'm also doing the chord roots in the bass as a pulse. G, G, D. So two Gs and two Ds. Okay. Rocking around the Christmas tree. You can do Christmas tree if you want. 
I've heard some versions like that Christmas tree at the Christmas party hop Rocking around the Christmas tree at the Christmas party hop Now next part let's do the third line now Okay so that would be mistletoe hung where you can see every couple tries to stop a lot of this chromatic there's it's a lot of fun playing these chromatics so whole story again rocking around the christmas tree at the ram pam pa ra rum pa ba and it kind of repeats rocking around the christmas tree let the christmas spirit ring next the ending is do some caroling do some caroling so And now what pattern shall we play? I'm going to nominate one of the two so in each of these songs. So we'll do the I think this works. The usual pulse 1516. So maybe start with rocking around. Just see if you get just to get yourself acquainted. Because the figures will be the same. That's a D. So around the ground, da na da na na da 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 da. Again, and doing a few slides if you want. So for C to D, it's a quick change. So I'm doing C G C A, very quick there. One more time, shall we? Okay there is another part to this song but in this video I'm trying to sneak in five songs so let's learn the A sections and over to you to learn the B sections and to help you with the second part of the song as well do consider downloading my chord charts on Patreon where we'll have the entire chords of all the songs I've covered not just for this Christmas tutorial but pretty much all the lessons we've done on our YouTube channel so that was about rocking around the christmas tree let's just do that once more uh, as slow as possible c d d second line second cycle you can learn the b section later we'll cover that in another video perhaps so that's about rocking around the christmas tree let's learn one more now rudolph the red nosed reindeer let me get you the melody first or with the chords g g g d still d d 
So a good way to remember this structure would be three G's and then a D and then three D's and then a G. It's pretty easy to remember. So G of the red nose reindeer G had a very shiny nose D. And if you ever saw it D, you would even say it glows G. And then all of the other reindeer to laugh and call him names. They never let poor Rudolph join in any reindeer games. Now let's bring in the tune which I sang. And the left hand, what shall we do? Let's bring in our uh, bass pattern for this song. Boom, 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 ba, ba, boom, boom. Pum, pum. And I think Rudolph is pretty much swing in any case. So, we're not changing much. We're not changing the vibe, I think. So... You may want to break it down. Just keep doing that. Rudolph the red nose reindeer. One more time. Maybe go to the lower D. One more time. Ending. And then of course. Okay, you can see the charts for the second part. So Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer seems to work. I mean, if you like that pattern, it would also work fine. But we've just notated this for you. Okay, that's Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer for you. Uh, let's do one more. Let's do the most popular Christmas song probably of all time. Even people who don't celebrate Christmas will probably know this song, Jingle Bells. So you go. Melody, I think, is really easy. Jingle bells, jingle all the way. The, all the way is a bit tricky. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. All the way. That's a dotted crotchet for you. All, all the way. I and a form, two, three, four. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse soap and sleigh. A jingle bells again. Jingle bells, no. jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Okay, the bass pattern for this could be maybe a double double speed uh, blues uh, pulse. So we'll have to swing it to enable it to work in this blues scenario. Moving to C. I've added a chord there. Because that's the chord in the song. A major. A dominant. You'll have to get that A because it's it's there in the song. It's a secondary dominant which goes to D. Again. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to run. And then one horse open sleigh. Let's do that slowly. Second half. And.
So we have a couple more Christmas songs in this rock or rock and roll blues style. Let's do Blue Christmas. So Blue Christmas without you. Sim same story. Thinking about you. Pretty 12 bar blues like if you think about it tan 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 g g major mm, d major i'll have a blue d7 without you g major mm, tari still g major can experiment with the other patterns as well but i think this pattern will work well for blue christmas let's cap off the lesson with a popular carol go tell it on the mountain so again let's get the melody in the right hand everywhere go tell it on the mountain that jesus christ is born okay let's freeze on that for now so which pattern works i guess both patterns maybe we should do For the B, can do the jumpy rhythm. Back to these songs are played or to be played in a swing i think naturally the com the composition itself is swung but you can even straighten it if you want a rock and roll vibe for example comes very rock and roll or you can swing it and play it fast that will be a bit more uh, boogie woogie if you think about it so we've learned five songs in this lesson and have fun maybe adding this blues or rock and roll feel with the two patterns i've taught you and the baseline to a bunch of songs don't destroy them too much or uh, be, be a bit careful i guess because people may not like every single song played in the blues or rock and roll way because it's actually possible you can take every single song ever created on earth and it can sound like a blues song because blues is a very very influential genre in music it started it all contemporary music has to thank blues it it all started with this genre so hope you found the lesson useful do check out our playlist for other christmas tutorials and many more to help improve your piano skills from whichever level you are currently at you can also consider doing a course at the school by going to nathanielschool.com and you can consider supporting us on our patreon page for just 5 dollars a month where you'll receive my handwritten notes staff notation midi files backing tracks and a lot more Thanks a ton for watching the video. Cheers.